Roses are red and pink and white and lots of other colors, but not blue. Breeders have been trying to produce one for a long time, and uh, I've seen it referred to as the holy grail of rose colors for breeders, that, you know, that eternal quest. This rose was digitally altered to show what Discover Magazine reported genetic engineering might be close to producing, a true blue rose. Fred Gingrich, a toxicologist at Vanderbilt University, never intended to join the quest to create blue roses. But when his team, which was studying how drugs metabolize in the liver, genetically engineered bacteria to produce a human liver chemical, the result was blue bacteria. So they tried inserting that liver gene into plants to see if they would turn blue. If you move genes directly into plants, you'll get blue spots in the stems, etc. And one has to go on and try some specific targeting methods to put the color into the flowers and as opposed to the stems. Gingrich is also manipulating the bacteria to turn other colors and finding that these colorful chemicals might have potential as disease-fighting drugs. I think it's an example of why science is so interesting and uh, you're sort of able to follow your nose in terms of uh, getting into new directions and doing things uh, that are really very exciting that you really hadn't planned on. Proving that a rose of any other color would smell as sweet. I'm Karen Lurie.